Hello, welcome to Christmas Cooking at the I Eat. Um, today I want to talk to you about why I think um, tur turkey gets very dry. Um, and I, it's my opinion that it comes down to when people stuff the bird, um, they, they, they don't let the air go through it. The stuffing takes all the juice away from, from the breast. So it takes longer to cook and it dries it out. So I'm going to show you how to make uh, a lovely little stuffing today that uh, that's independent of the bird um, so let's have a look very lucky over here at the IEATS where we've got our beautiful sets of um, these fabulous fresh herb so just take a bit of rosemary and then um, well the seeds is getting a wee bit sort of this time of year you know it's out in the cold weather but um, to be honest with you this is kind of going to get like liquidized down with breadcrumbs anyway so it doesn't really matter uh, so a good handful of each and then we need a little bit of thyme. Okay, so rosemary, sage and thyme. So we have some very good uh, butcher sausages. We've got some uh, shallot. Uh, just picked some herbs from the garden there. Good stock. Now this is this is chicken stock, um, but I, I, closer to the time you'd be using turkey stock, okay? Uh, we've got salt and pepper, good rock salt, balsamic vinegar. This is a little uh, seasoning onion stuffing mix. Some crunchy nut cornflakes, uh, again optional based on nut allergies, um, and then we have we have this nutty crust, which which is an Irish plain uh, white bread. It's it's a semi sardo, um, and this is fantastic for uh, for doing um, stuffing. Um, you're better having it maybe just a few days old, but you'll see the the actual grain and the texture on it there. It's, it's just wonderful. First off, we get our, our shallots into our Maggi mix, and then we're just going to throw our herbs in with that as well, just straight in, um, and just give that a wee blend. Okay, just a knob of butter, a touch of olive oil, and then we get our herb and shallot mix in. Now we don't want to cook this too quickly. At this stage, just a touch, not too much, just a touch of balsamic vinegar, okay? And just turn that heat down. Oh, it smells like Christmas already. Okay, so we just let that sit there, just low heat, about five minutes. You probably need about four, maybe five, um, slices of this nutty crust here. Now, you don't really want the the very dark stuff, um, albeit it's really nice for toast. It's not great for uh, um, for stuffing. So just into about that, and then chop that up into slightly smaller chunks. And that goes in and gets whizzed up. So it is, this stage, then what I do is just add a few crunchy nut cornflakes, okay, and some of our uh, seeds and onion stuffing mix, okay. Perfect. Our onion and herb mix is now soft and lovely, okay. So that goes back into our magic mix. I prefer to use sausage, as I said to you before, guys, rather than um, rather than sausage meat. Uh, and again, these are from a good butcher's. These are, these are Gibson's sausages. And again, just four sausages. You don't need an awful lot. Okay. Perfect. Now, that's normally the way stuffing goes into the bird. Okay. But and then it sucks in all that juice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to replicate what happens when this is inside the bird. So again, just lovely bit of turkey, turkey stock. And just pulse it. It should just come into a bowl. And there you go. Fantastic. Okay, done. See that's come together beautifully there. Now the only thing we have to do is just to add a little bit of seasoning. Okay, just a touch of salt. I, I like to keep the salt, that sort of rock salt in bits so that you just taste it throughout, you know. Um, nice wee bit of pepper. And just mix that through. Nice bit of clink from 
And then just a touch of oil in the center of that. Cling film just keeps it really moist and, and it almost steams it in there as well, you know? So you can steam things as well as roast them at the same time. It's just, it just gives you a nicer sort of texture at the end, I think. We roll the cling film over. Again, guys, this is only going to be in the oven for about sort of 25 minutes or so. So, you know, don't worry about the cling film. This is what sort of chefs do in professional kitchens that you don't really see. So, um, just roll that up and it'll tighten the whole thing in. So basically, you, you want to tighten that as, as far as, as thick as you want your slice of stuffing. Okay, so that's, that feels a bit good to me there. Okay. And then we get the Okay, so that's just going to go on a baking sheet in the oven at 180 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Our stuffing has had about almost 30 minutes there. And, um, you can see the plastic that hasn't affected it, but you see the lovely little browning on that there. Now, it's a good color already, but, you know, a little bit of butter. It is Christmas, guys, you know. A little bit of butter and put that back in the oven for another two or three minutes. And you'll see how that comes up lovely and brown and crispy around the edges. Okay, that's browning. And that's absolutely perfect. Okay. see the sort of texture inside here still lovely and moist okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this up put that in the fridge um, and that will keep you can put it in the freezer put it in the fridge it'll keep in the fridge for two or three days in the freezer it'll keep for indefinitely um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try sneaky a little bit mm. Mm. it's like crunchy around the outside and it's really moist and soft on the inside, really well seasoned. The herbs are coming through. Absolutely beautiful piece of stuffing. And no need to put that inside the bird.